Dorothy done. What's she done? I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. Oh, me, she bit you? No, her dog. Oh, she bit her dog, eh? No. That dog's a menace to the community. I'm taking him to the sheriff and make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Toto? Oh, you can't. You mustn't. Eddie M. Uncle Henry, you won't let her, will you? <laughs> of course we won't. Uh, uh, where we am? Please, Aunt Em. Toto didn't mean to. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. I let him go in her garden. You can send me to bed without supper. If you don't hand over that dog, I'll bring a damn suit that'll take your whole farm. There's a law protecting folks against dogs that bite. How would it be if she keeps him tied up? He's really gentle. With gentle people, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's his order allowing me to take him. Unless you want to go against the law. Yeah. Yeah. I, we can't go against the law, Dorothy. I'm afraid poor Toto will have to go. Now you're seeing no. reason. Here's what I'm taking him in. So he can't attack me again. Oh, no, no, I won't let you take him. You go away. Oh, I'll bite you myself. Dorothy. Oh, you wicked old witch. Uncle Henry, Annie, M., don't let him take Toto. Oh, don't let him take him, please. Let me have him. Him. Put him in the basket, Henry. Oh, the idea. Oh, Henry. Oh, Toto. Elmira Gulch, just because you own half the county doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. And now, well, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. She was dead. That was her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. This is the Wicked Witch of the West. She's worse than the other one was. Who killed my sister? Who killed the Witch of the East? Was it you? No. No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to kill anybody. Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents too. Aren't you forgetting the ruby slippers? The slippers. Yes. The slippers. What have you done with them? Give them back to me or I'll... It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. <sighs> Give me back my slippers. I'm the only one that knows how to use them. They're no use to you. Give them back to me. Give them back. Keep tight inside of them. Their magic must be very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. You stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, <laughs> rubbish. You have no power here. Be gone before somebody drops the house on you, too. Very well. I'll bide my time. And as for you, my fine lady, it's true, I can't attend you here and now as I'd like. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> He will. He must. 
We've come such a long way already. <laughs> you call that long? Why, you just begun. Helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, stay away from her. Or I'll stuff a mattress with you. And you, I use you for a behind. Here, Scarecrow, want to play ball? So, you won't take warning, eh? All the worse for you. I'll take care of you now, instead of later. Ah. When I cane those ruby slippers, my power will be the greatest in Oz. And now, my beauty, something with poison in it, I think. With poison in it, but attractive to the eye and soothing to the smell. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> you will believe in more than that before I finish with you. <laughs> Take your army to the haunted forest and bring me that girl and her dog. Do what you like with the others, but I want her alive and unharmed. They'll give you no trouble, I promise you that. I've sent a little insect on ahead to take the fight out of them. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 